Hey, hi, my name is Neil, and I'm going to be your instructor for this course on Lean Six Sigma Green Belt Certification Practice Test for ASQ. I'm a certified master black belt with around two decades of experience in manufacturing and in services. ASQ, American Society of Quality, is a premier body for quality professionals. They offer various certification programs, and Lean Six Sigma Green Belt is one such program. If you're aspiring to prepare yourself or if you've already prepared for the ASQ certification, but not sure if you're ready for it, then this course is going to help you do that. I have packed two practice tests, which are very similar in terms of difficulty and complexity to ASQ. So if you're able to clear these tests, then I'm sure you would be coming out in flying colors in the ASQ examination. A lot of times people keep coming and asking to me, Neil, I've gone through this book, I've gone through this online course, I've attended this classroom program, is that enough? Can I sit for the examination? Will I clear that? Do you have sample question papers? And so on and so forth. So there are a lot of doubts in the minds of people who have prepared hours and hours for the certification. If you look at the ASQ Green Belt Body of Knowledge. Now, what is that? That is the curriculum that ASQ has specified for a Green Belt. So if you look at that curriculum, it's fairly deep and vast. And so people, as they start preparing, start getting all kinds of doubt as to how much should I know about this topic? Is this enough? What kind of questions would come? Would I get problem? Would this be an open book exam? Will I be able to clear if I completely read this book end to end? So all these questions are in the minds of people who are preparing. I thought one simple way of addressing that is to put together two sample tests which you can take and at the end of the examination, at the end of the test, you would yourself know where you stand. So that's how I conceived and I created this course. In addition to these practice tests, I've included few lectures which would act as refresher topics on define measure, analyze, improve and control. So the various phases of Six Sigma. And I've also included one end-to-end -end case study which can give you a little bit of practical exposure on this topic. Now let's talk briefly about the ASQ exam format, preparation tips, etc. before we jump into this course. Now, what is the preparation format? If you're already one who has started your preparation, I'm sure you would know about this, but let this be a refresher for you. Exams can be taken both online and offline. You would have 100 questions and you would get four hours to complete that. In the case of online exam, instead of 100 questions, you would have 110 questions. These 10 extra questions are primarily meant to evaluate whether you're cheating or not. So they would be non-graded questions which would appear at random. And you would get extra 30 minutes. So in the online exam, you would have four and a half hours. The good news for you is that this ASQ Green Belt exam is an open book exam. You can carry your reference books. But remember that you should know where you will have to locate the answer in the book. So preparation is paramount. Now, in terms of cutoff mark, ASQ exams don't declare the cutoff mark right up front. Exams happen twice a year across all major cities. So once the exam is completed, they evaluate depending on the performance of the group as to what the cutoff is. So technically, you don't have to worry about the cutoff right now. Okay, what do I do in terms of uh, the exam? Where will it happen? For all these details, I'm going to encourage you to go and uh, visit the ASQ website. You can apply for the examination, pay your fees, and you will also be able to schedule the exam and go and take the exam as well. Exams happen twice a year, so I'm sure you would be able to find a slot in the coming months. The next question that everyone has in mind is, what kind of questions am I going to get? Which topics would be covered more? Where should I emphasize more? How should I prepare, etc. ASQ has actually clarified that in their body of knowledge. The body of knowledge, as I mentioned earlier, is nothing but their curriculum. They have mentioned there as to what is the distribution of marks 
across various topics. So they have six topics. First topic is Six Sigma and organization. Following that, you have the five different phases of DMAC, that is define, measure, analyze, improve, and control would be the remaining five topics. So all put together, you have six topics. Mark distribution is like this. For Six Sigma and organization, you would have 13 marks. For define and measure, you would have 23 marks. For analyze and for improve, you would have 15 marks. And for control, you would have 11 marks. So that's the distribution of marks is concerned. The next question that students have is, all that is fine, how difficult will the question be? When you Google a particular topic, you would find a vast amount of information or a depth of knowledge available. To what level should I go? You take a topic like DOE, it's so vast and it's so technical and statistical, to what level should I know? It's going to be endless if you keep Googling and you keep finding answers. So ASQ has specified as to what level of difficulty or complexity you will have to learn each topic for a green belt level. That's specified using what's called as a Bloom's taxonomy. A Bloom's taxonomy is something that says what is the level of complexity for assimilating knowledge. Just Google and you will find more information about Bloom's taxonomy. So typically a Bloom's taxonomy starts with remembering a concept, the first level. The next is understanding that concept, ability to apply, so that becomes the third level, ability to analyze a given scenario or a concept and interpret the results, so that becomes the next level, evaluation to some extent overlaps with what I mentioned earlier, but in a given condition, can you evaluate what tool or technique has to be applied? And finally, can you create something from the scratch? So these are the various levels of Bloom's taxonomy and in the ASQ body of knowledge, they have clearly specified for every subtopic of those six topics as to what level of difficulty you will have to go for. The practice tests that I've included here have taken care of that. So they go to the level of depth which is necessary for you and the level at which you would be evaluated. Okay, so I think we are coming to the end. I'm sure because this is a open book exam, you're going to purchase few books and carry them. It's very important that you have reference books in your hand when you're walking inside the exam. If you have not already started preparation or if you have no idea where you should start, then I would advise that look for books, look for online courses, books bring you the theoretical knowledge, Online courses can give you the practical exposure. I'm sure after the certification, you would like to secure a job or secure a promotion. This is a professional development course. So I'm sure you would need a little bit of practical exposure. And that exposure is equally important when you're writing the exam because if the exam questions are relating to a scenario, then you really need to know what concept I should apply in that scenario. So many times, Online courses or classroom courses are very useful. There are plenty of them. This platform has many. Online books, I'm sure you would know where to go and look for. Look for them in Google or Amazon and you would find plenty of them. I'm including one such book, the first chapter of it, for your reference, which has the various topics in question and answer format. And I think that will be very useful for exam preparation. So with all that, I want to make sure that you are confident enough to take the exam and that's why this practice test as a course has been included. In due course of time, I intend to include more lectures which would discuss the questions and the answers in detail. Right now, it is time for me to say goodbye and wish you all the best. If you have any further clarifications on your certification and preparation, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.